these Empire's fan theories just got even crazier, everybody. Could it get more crazy than last time? Probably. Probably could. Um, grab your snacks. This is an eight-minute video. We're just going to watch it. Um, we're going to do this. Uh, sit tight. It's theory time. Let's take a look into my crystal ball and see what the future holds. I think the volume is good, everybody. Emperors. For our first theory of the day, Redditor Snotball Joker has proposed a theory about everyone's favorite Hawaiian shirt clad verb, the Orion Sam. Hello, my name is Ollie. Ollie's first video on the Empire server, his character originally hails from the Afterlife SMP, although he disappeared for a few months while his friends continued playing on the server. Yep. After most of the other players on the server had lost the final of their Oof. 10 lives on the SMP, Ollie returned only to discover that he was one of the only people left alive. He After was alone. Into the skies and failing to convince goddess Pearlescent Moon to bring mythical sausage back from the dead, Ollie fell back to the earth, this time in a world that would one day become the Empire's SMP Season 2. After slaying the Ender Dragon, Ollie sat through the entirety of Minecraft's end credits, and after they had finally finished, Ollie resurfaced on the Empire's server only to discover that months had passed and that 12 other players had joined the server and established their own empires. But there was something different about Ollie Look at him. most of the Empire's players. Look at you fella. see, Ollie was able to break through the fourth wall and see right through the empersonas of our favorite players. To Ollie, Sausage of Sang seemed to recognize him in return. <laughs> However, according to Snotball Joker's theory, the players on the Empire server might not be telling Ollie the whole truth about being able to recognize him. For example, we do know that Mythical Sausage I somewhat like this. recognizes Ollie, as he recently had a flashback about Ollie in the Afterlife SMP when Ollie and Guys, if it lags, just hit the refresh button. We all good. Hit the refresh. We're all good. Sometimes it happens. Like my my internet just gets a little bit funny and it makes my audio go a tiny bit weird. Just, but if you hit the refresh button, it's all back to normal. Appreciate it. Sausage met up for the first time in Sanctuary. Snotball Joker also points out how Joey Crusifa made a reference to the Afterlife server when Fwip called a server-wide meeting to investigate the already killed Ender Dragon back at the beginning of Season 2. Joey joked around about Eldie Shadow Lady, stating that the already opened portal made him suspicious of Lizzie because she had a history of trapping end portals in the past. This, this sounds like a Lizzie <laughs> trap. <laughs> I promise this time it wasn't me. This is a clear reference to Lizzie's end portal trap on the Afterlife SMP, where after gathering tons of her friends into Do you a guys small remember elevator this? shaft, Lizzie dug the ground underneath her friends, launching them all into the end portal so good. and forcing them all to fight the Ender Dragon. If Callum Kyra fell off was straight away. If to recall these events from the previous SMP series, then it stands to reason that he might actually have some of his memories during his past life in the afterlife world. And if Joey and Sausage remember the afterlife server, then why wouldn't everyone else? Perhaps everyone does recognize Ollie a little bit, but something is holding the players back from recognizing him fully. Is there some mysterious force trying to keep the emperors from remembering wow! their past lives? Look at that force! Mysterious! No can really say for sure. We can't have a theory video without another- I think just- I think- Obviously, Ollie broke the fourth wall, right? But I feel like you just kinda- we all know who Ollie is. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a good theory. It's a great theory. Um, I just think that People were either playing really hard into the law and they, you know, went full on like, we don't know who you are. And Ollie was like, well, of course I know who you are. Um, people play into the law really heavy or they don't. Um, it's it's kind of your what you want to do. If you want to play into it or not, or if you want to break the fourth wall, amazing, incredible. Crack at who the villain is going to be for Empire Season 2. According to a theory by Redditor HPFanatic11, LD Shadow Lady of Animalia might not be the friendly kitty we Ooh. think she is. We know that Lizzie appears to be the generous mayor of Critter City and a defender of animal rights, but there are a few things this season that have made us question if the cat might be a little eviler than she's letting on. For example, Lizzie recently took on the dark art of necromancy, an ancient form of feline magic that transformed her fox villagers into zombies. We know that due to the Minecraft game mechanics, when you cure a zombie villager, the villager will lower their prices as a thank you for saving their life. So when you think about it, when Lizzie cured her villagers of the zombification she forced on them, Lizzie was tricking her villagers into believing that she had actually saved their lives. Also that Lizzie could pay less for their products. Now that's just underhanded. On top of this, Lizzie also secretly has fox slaves who run her sweet berry farms deep underneath the streets Wait, what? of the city. And she has gone out of her way this season to make 
make sure that nobody follows her when she goes down there, meaning that Lizzie has gone great lengths to hide her slaves from the rest of the server. Mayor Lizzie claims to be an advocate for animal rights. I did not know this. She has a history of stealing from and overworking her animals, especially the foxes. We have theorized in the past that Lizzie might be a direct descendant of the tiger blood prince from Joey Cruzetha's Lost Empire during season one of Empires. We know that the fans firmly believed that the Lost Empire was the evilest empire on the server it during season one. It was pretty bad. One, because according to a Twitter poll created by Ellie Shadow Lady, Joey's empire was voted as the most violent empire on the server by far. What if Joey's corruption from Zarnoth rubbed off to his close friend, the tiger blood prince, and it was passed down from generation to generation, making Kitty Lizzie just a little bit evil for this season of empires. This next theory wow. comes from Calico Quartz, who is actually also the creator of the Catherine Elizabeth reincarnation theory that we discussed in our previous theory video. This time, Calico is dishing Wait. up a new theory for us Wait, through our favorite pair of siblings from Empire Season 1, it's me. Lizzie the Ocean Queen and Codfather Jimmy. As we know from the first season of Empires, yeah? Lizzie and Jimmy were hatched from the same litter of eggs mm -hmm. from an ancient underwater being, with the body of a salamander and the head of a codfish. The ancient being, having become lonely, pleaded with the ocean god Look how majestic children, I am. And the being withered away after laying its eggs on a rocky shore. Lizzie and Jimmy used to be rulers of the seas thousands of years before even the first human empire came to rise. But over time, the empires became overrun by an onslaught of enemy salmon fish. According hey, to salmon. The prophecies, past and future, if the siblings were to ever leave the safety of their sea empires for an extended period, it would lose their memories of ever being emperors of the sea. Due to the attack of the salmon fish on the empire, Lizzie went to the surface well to discover the source of the salmon invasion, leaving her sibling behind and causing her to lose all the memories of her past life. Jimmy would also one day head to the surface world, presumably in search for his missing sister, causing him to also forget everything about his past. Although the two siblings were reunited during season one of the empires, they wouldn't remain together for very long. You see, Jimmy, having been deemed unworthy of his Codfather head by the Council of Cod, worked with Count <laughs> Whip of the Gremlins to create a new Codfather head by yes. mixing salmon and cod in the Gremlins' forge. However, the forbidden mixture overloaded the reactor, causing the Gremlins explosion and bringing about the end of the world. The ocean- Guys, I, I, I say this a couple of times, said it a lot of times, Sorry about ending season one early. Do apologize. Uh, me and Flip thought we were doing something. Didn't really work out. Sorry about that. Empire and the Cod Empire were drained of all their water because of the explosion, causing Lizzie to lose her memories once again. Jimmy, on the other hand, seemed to hold on to his memories. Why do I look so... Look at me. Look. Oh, you can't really see. Beardless Jimmy. I look at Beardless Jimmy there and I'm like... Do I shave? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. A bit longer, but he left his empire believing no, himself I look really younger. to rule over his codfish subjects. If only Jimmy had known that the cod council had deemed Jimmy worthy of the codfather head. But he had there already left by that point in time. Ah! According to Calico's theory, neither Lizzie or Jimmy died at the end of Empire Season 1, unlike other characters such as King Jowl, Scott of Rivendell, Farmer Pearl, and possibly Lord Sausage and Emperor Joey. We also know that Lizzie and Jimmy were already thousands of years old by the time Empire Season 1 came around, meaning that it's not too crazy to think that they could have gone on to live for another thousand years all the way to the time of Season 2. Calico believes that Codfather Jimmy and Ocean Queen Lizzie are still out there somewhere, alive and well, but unaware of who they really are. Could we see the return of these two siblings for a brief reunion during season two? I'd certainly like a happy ending for those two. Our final theory. I. That's wholesome, isn't it? That's wholesome. That is wholesome. Just, I got shivers. Hit me right in the feels, that did. Hit me right in the feels. How about you guys? Theory comes from Redditor Viri V Imagines. Hidden figures and pulling it's an the exciting strings. One. Viri made an interesting observation about the beginning of season two of Empires. You see, the tradition of starting a new season on the Empire server usually involves every player on the server gathering around a campfire and heading off to establish their own empires. Viri noticed, however, that many of the players' skins and characters, canonically speaking, did not match the roles that they would assume later in the season. For example, Fwip wore his normal Minecraft skin and he didn't use his goblin 
goblin skin until he had settled deep within the depths of the dripstone cave biome in mm -hmm. the goblins. Viri also points out that Jimmy didn't become the sheriff until he discovered the sheriff's hat hidden away in a cave in an abandoned mineshaft. Likewise, Joel didn't become the god of the sky until he took a dip in the fountain of strength, mm -hmm. changing him from a human form into god. Gemini Tay also didn't wear her princess gem attire at the beginning of the season, nor did Catherine Elizabeth wear her princess Catherine mm -hmm. attire. Viri believes that maybe, just maybe, just every baby. player in the Empire's world started out in their normal form until they came upon the biome they would settle upon. Theory states that some unknown force or entity destined certain emperors to settle in certain biomes, and as a result, the players were given new forms when they came to the biome they were supposed to settle in. Which is why characters like Fwip became a cave goblin and why Smallish Beans became a god, perfectly suited for an empire in the sky. But who could have destined the emperors to assume their roles and live in their respective biomes? Could it be the Watchers from the Life Series and Minecraft Evo servers? And hey, that's just a theory. Thanks for watching. That's, Bye. that's just a... Just a theory, everybody. It's true. It, 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 it. Oh my gosh. Holy God. Stop. 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 It wasn't him. Play. Thank you. It's just a theory. I love that ending. It's just a theory. What is that? Is that the Mac? Is that the game theory thing? It's just a theory. I think it is. Um, Just a theory, everybody. It's just a theory. Dude, those Prismarina's videos, they make me want to slap the desk and make everything shake because they're that good. I just want to go, Argh! and my camera shakes and it disconnects and everything goes mad because they are that good. Those theory videos, those Prismarina's videos, they are quality. They're great.